Alrighty, in this video we're going to be taking a look at two August Vintage Cushions. Um, the uh, Both of them colorless. There is a slight difference in the optics between the two, and I'll tell you what. The, um, the diamond on the left here is an August Vintage Star, okay? So it's still a chunky faceted cushion, however the reflections are a little bit more narrow in the August Vintage Star. In the uh, traditional August Vintage Cushion, the uh, facets are a little bit wider and broader, okay? And you can see that here in the clip. All right, this uh, diamond on the right here is a one carat EVS2 versus a DSI-1, okay? So the um, this DSI-1 is kind of more like a transitional August Vintage Cushion uh, in the sense that the uh, reflections of light are a little bit more narrow. And then here in uh, the traditional August Vintage Cushion, um, wider and broader, okay? And this video is capturing the differences uh, really nice. All right, let's take you into spotlighting and show you the differences there as well. So uh, just bottom line here before we leave the window, if you are after the more traditional one, you want to get the EVS here on my right hand that's in that we have mounted in a ring right now. If you want um, uh, the narrower reflections, okay, a, more, a, a slightly more splintery but still chunky, um, then the August Vintage Star in the DSi-1, okay. Let's go in spotlighting. Okay, as we're here in the uh, spotlighting environment, this is the uh, August Vintage Star again. And you can see the slightly narrower reflection, but strong, intense fire. Okay, and then here is the traditional August Vintage cushion. Now, between these two diamonds, as you can see, your flashes are going to be fewer and broader in the traditional. Okay. Now this is in a ring, so that little bit, you may see a little dust maybe on the bottom of the stone. It's imperceptible to the eye. I got the macro lens on the camera now. So there's the traditional August Vintage Cushion. Okay, bam. And here's the August Vintage Star. Right. So I got the uh, macro lens on now with the two of these in there. Beautiful. Both gorgeous, okay, but slightly different in the optics. Both of them ideal vintage. All right, and that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope that this has helped you make your decision on which one you prefer most. Thank you.